Okay, let's finish up gas law questions, the multiple choice from the 2015 Chem Regents exams. We're going to start with question six here. Okay, under which conditions of temperature and pressure does a real gas behave most like an ideal gas? Well, if you watch the other video or did the questions, this is the second time in 2015 this question came up. And any real gas is going to behave most like an ideal gas when we have high temperature and low pressure. So that's all we're looking for and that would be choice three. That's a fact you need to know. Make sure you know it. Let's go to question seven. Again we're dealing with kinetic molecular theory and what all gas particles the conditions that they're going to follow and one of them is number one here which is the answer random straight line motion. Remember random constant straight line motion they don't take up any volume they don't have any attractions between the particles and there's no energy loss. So the only choice here that works is, is a choice one and I do want to point out to you that again in 2015 that question actually showed up three times. Let's move on to question eight. We have a sample of hydrogen gas, we got two ATMs, we got 273 Kelvin, occupies a volume of five liters. The gas sample is completely transferred into a different volume container. What's the new pressure? And now the temperature returns to 273. So really what we're dealing with here is constant temperature. Well, I need the combined gas law equation. Now, if you don't know that, start listing things first. So initially I have two ATMs as my pressure. I have a temperature of 273 Kelvin. I have a volume of 5 liters. Then we're told the new volume is 10 liters. We're looking for the new pressure. It looks like an R, that's a P. And my temperature is still 273 Kelvin. Well, with that information, if I go to reference table T, the only thing it could be is the combined gas law equation. None of the others make sense. Temperature, by the way, always has to be in Kelvin. Pressure and volume, as long as you have consistent units on either side, you're all right as far as the calculation goes. And in this question, we were given Kelvin, but not only that, it stays constant. So I have P1, V1, T1 is equal to P2, V2, T2. And I go ahead and plug in. I have 2 ATM and a volume of 5 liters. Now, my temperature is remaining constant at 273, so I could actually just cross it out. So I'm really left with pressure times volume is equal to pressure times volume. If you put in the 273 on either side, you're going to multiply and divide it out anyway. It's up to you. And on the other side here, we're looking for the new pressure, or P2, and my V2 is 10 liters. Just solve now for P2. Again, Use a calculator. Might sound crazy. You know 2 times 5 is 10, but just to make absolutely sure, so 2 times 5 is 10, you're going to divide by 10. 10 divided by 10 means I have a new pressure of 1 ATM. That's for P2. And, of course, the answer then for question 8 is choice 1. Now, one other question, kind of like a bonus. I had originally put this in the category with just general of physical behavior of matter and that is this question 18 but I want to also re-go over it here because it pertains to gases. So in this question it's asking you you're at STP the same number of molecules in a 2 liter sample of chlorine which one's going to match? Well any gas at STP right one mole of any gas occupies 22.4 liters and really all we're doing here is we're just looking for matching volume. So the answer for 18 is choice 2. So I'm just adding that to this. 
Uh, again, it shows up the way I originally put it in with physical behavior of matter. Just in general, it still goes under that category, but I do want to remind you again that at STP, it doesn't matter what the gas is, that if I have the same number of molecules, then I'm dealing with the same volume. Check out more videos. Keep doing as many questions as you can. Check your answers. Go over explanations. And good luck.